In the early universe, gravity had a much bigger role to play. Right after the Big Bang, the universe was just gas, almost perfectly spread out throughout space. Over the next 200 million years, gravity began to pull the gas back together to produce the very first structures from which everything else would grow. But even this very nearly didn't happen. If it weren't for another stroke of cosmic luck, there would be no you, no me, no stars or planets or anything at all. We know this because in 1982, a group of scientists, including myself, spent three solid weeks working it out. Although the calculations were hard, demonstrating what we discovered is easy. First, I need a nice flat floor, like this one, for example. This is the dining room in my college. I'm going to fill the place with lots and lots of ball bearings. These balls represent the matter of the early universe a thin gas spread out evenly across the vast cosmos. Here's where luck comes in. If they're all the same distance apart, gravity pulls each ball the same amount in all directions. They stay perfectly aligned and precisely nothing happens. Fortunately, one of the basic rules of the universe is that nothing's perfect. Perfection simply doesn't exist. The early universe had a tiny unevenness that can be simulated by removing just five ball bearings. It may not look like much has changed, but to gravity, those missing balls create a giant opportunity. Gravity now pulls more strongly on one side of some of the bearings. The tiny irregularities in the sea of ball bearings have given gravity something to sink its teeth into. And this is exactly what happened back where we left the young universe. Parts of the sea of early gas were ever so slightly thinner than others. The less dense areas were like the gaps between the ball bearings. The denser parts of the sea of gas, where gravity was having its way, clumped together. And it was in these areas that all the stars and galaxies would form. The cosmos had taken its first step towards the beautiful place it is today. All thanks to irregularity, imperfections, a lack of order. So next time someone complains that you have made a mistake, tell them that may be a good thing, because without imperfection, neither you nor I would exist.